them on day fourteen eighty nine. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Erica and I have lost and kept off 60 pounds for over four years through intermittent fasting and also through exercise. I also like to just help encourage and motivate you while you're on your journey. If that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button and just join this Fit Fasting family. So today, girl, today marks day 1489. 1489 days in a row of meet your girl showing up for herself every single day. Wow, listen, I will continue to say over here, mm -mm, we make ourselves a priority, okay? You are important, I am important, and self care is not selfish. All of this right here, all of this right here, it's a part of self care because our health is our wealth. So day 1489, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, your girl has already worked out. But before I start talking about what I have going on, you already know this part of the video, what we're going to do. We need to hear from one person right now in the comments, all of our day oneers. Let us know right now if you have finally made the decision to make yourself a priority. Once again, you are important and self-care is not selfish. We're here to hype you up we're here to gas you up we're here to cheer you on we just want to encourage you today just start today and just keep on going then for all of our ogs okay if you've been here for a while you know what time it is for you let us know about your workout we want to know what time you're working out what kind of workout you're doing, how long you're going to work out for, what are you watching, what are you listening to, because you know we like to stay entertained while we're working out. Just tell us anything there is to know about your workout because that's what accountability partners do, and that's exactly what we are. So just in case you didn't know, when you click that subscribe button, okay, listen, when you click that subscribe button, girl, listen, we are uh, locked. We will forever be showing up each other. I'm your accountability partner. I'm your consistency best friend. I told you I'm on day four. 1489 days in a row. One thing about it. Oh, I'm going to show up for myself every single day. And of course, I show up for you as well with the daily vlog. So once again, we would just love to have you over here with our Fit Fast and Family. So let me go ahead and tell you about what I have going on. So I'm on my weekend. Yes, ma'am. The weekend started when I worked, left work on yesterday. So no alarm was set. So I started out the morning. I woke up at about 4.30. You already know, girl. Listen, I'm still going to get up early. That's just what my body is, you know, used to. So got up at 4.30. I started out by doing my usual, my devotion, my prayer, and giving thanks. As always, that's one of my non-negotiables, okay? So once it was time to get up, of course, get myself together, it was time to go ahead and head downstairs to get my workout in. So I started 
start out by doing a lot of stretching, okay? Yes, I do a lot of stretching, okay? It's so important, not only for my age, just in general, okay? When we're moving our bodies like how we do. So start out by stretching. And then for my cardio, I did a mix of cardio this morning. So I got on my um, treadmill initially, okay? So I ran a little over three miles. I think it was like three and a half miles, okay? Then I got on my elliptical. Of course, I got on my vibration plate because I'm in this challenge. We're in this challenge. Y'all all in August challenge. And then I ended with a little cool down and stretch. So very good workout. But what was I watching? Y'all, Big Brother. Yes, y'all already know that's one of my favorite shows and has been for so many years. So the episode came on last night. So now I am all caught up. And y'all, it was definitely a good one, okay? We're probably going to have to talk about Big Brother, all right, in our little midday check-in. So that's everything about my workout. So as far as today and what the day holds, y'all, listen, I'm looking forward to the most amazing day because I feel so good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. So just in case you haven't already, okay, we want to know three things that you are grateful for because I'm a firm believer in when you can stay in the attitude of gratitude, that's when you receive more. You begin to see the beauty in all things. Not only that, but over here, we spread kindness and love. So so tell us one way in which you plan on making the world a better place today because it truly starts with me and it starts with you as well. Some random act of kindness, smile big, smile often because your smile is definitely beautiful. So once again, let's go ahead and talk about the day. What's on my agenda? So I'm just enjoying this beautiful morning so far. Okay, so um, after my workout, as you can see, I have already got myself together, okay? But we'll be drinking our water together. We're fasting together. Uh, we're checking in with each other. And um, yeah, like always, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting us ready for the week because you know, I don't have time to be getting all stressed out and overwhelmed during the week. So start with laundry and just kind of resetting the house. And then also a little later on, where I have an event to attend and I'll probably go into more detail about that, you know, during our midday check-in, girl, I'm so excited. I am like one proud, not necessarily mama, but I am one proud mama. So anyway, go ahead, check in, okay? We want to hear all about your workout. I'm about to head on back downstairs, probably continue doing the things I've been doing, drinking my water, moving around the house, and then we'll just be catching up really soon. Hey girl, hey my beautiful, gorgeous best friend. Girl, it is time for our midday check-in and you already know what I'm about to say. This is one of my favorite times of the day. We can just check in and just see how each other's doing. So yes, we're best friends, but we're also accountability partners. Let's talk about the things that we talk about every single day. Your water, your steps, your fast. We're gonna to touch on mental health. So how are you doing with your water? This is your daily reminder. Drink that water, okay? Because we want all the benefits of water. This is your daily reminder. I hope you to move your body today, but if you haven't, get up and just start walking in place. Five minutes, 10 minutes, split it up, do a couple of squats. It's all about just kind of moving your body and you determine whatever your step goal is, okay? So, and let us know whatever your step goal is, but it's all about moving your body. This has been one of my number one cheat code for so many years. And especially right now on this current journey, which will be, it is my last journey, just kind of walking in place. And once again, just being very mindful of just moving your body, move it often. And then how are you doing with your fast? Okay, we want to know how many hours you're fasting for today. Are you doing 16 hours all the way up to like OMAD, ADF, if you're on a raw fast, juice fast, fruit fast, if it's a combination, you know, of the, um, of, you know, some fasting. We want to know if you count calories or Weight Watchers, just whatever you do, your nutritional component. How is that component, you know, of your day going? We want to know. But when it is time for you to eat, we want to know what you're eating because we are all here checking for the comments, okay? We are looking for inspiration. I promise you, girl, you just never do know who may be getting their next meal idea from what you're eating because some of y'all food, oh, it sounds good, okay? And then last but definitely not least, mental health check-in. How are you doing today? We really want to know. How are you doing? How is the weather like where you are? How is your mood? How is your energy, your stress? How did you sleep last night? Just all of those things. The things that you normally would talk to your best friend about and accountability partner. We want to know, but I will continue to say for me, I pray, let go and let God with the understanding and belief that everything 
everything, any situation that has had you weighed down, it has already worked itself out in your favor. But you got to trust and you got to believe and you got to know that you know that you know. But guess what? Your best friend is standing right here in agreement with you. We are claiming that all is well. So drop your prayer request below if you have any, even if it's not for you, if it's for somebody else. Because you know I don't play about y'all, okay? Because over here, girl, our prayer game, oh, baby, we got it on lock, okay? Just tell us anything there is to know about how your morning is going. So let me go ahead and tell you about what I have going on, okay? So as far as my water, I'm doing really good with my water. Actually, I've been using my 50-ounce cup, and it's sitting right there, okay? Um, Yeah, right here on the dresser. I just kind of forgot to bring it out here, okay? But I have already gotten to the bottom of that, so I'm at least 50 ounces in. Now, I did um drink some water as I was working out this morning, but we're going to say it's at least at 50 ounces, okay? So we're probably about halfway, a little under halfway to go okay a little over halfway to go did i say that right girl i didn't had over 50 ounces okay and then as far as my steps i'm over 13,000 steps so doing good with the steps okay and then as far as my fast so right now it's a little after one o'clock which means i'm over 17 hours fast and when i tell you girl i feel so good okay yes i am feeling really good right now i haven't decided you know what kind of fast i'm gonna do today if i'll be doing oh i mean i should do my raw till four you know that's what i've been on okay or will it be oh man i'm not really sure okay so you just kind of have to keep on watching to you know see what you best friend does right but one thing about it you know i am fasting and then as far as my mental health y'all my mood all is well y'all the sun is shining bright okay your girl is off work today okay and you already know once again i done had my prayer time today so lord god i thank you so what have i been up to what have i been doing so of course the last time we talked you know, we kind of talk about, you know, my workout and how, you know, what I've been doing and everything. So um, I stayed up there in my office, okay, in my little uh, craft room, okay, because I had to get my little nails done, right? And so I'm so happy that I had that out of the way. But real quick, before I get into that, um, I did want to touch on, you know, what's going to be on our agenda for today. But I've just been doing more of the same, just kind of walk around. I've already started laundry. Um, of course, I've already edited the blog. Of course, you know, I've already started my journal, the things that I typically do. Oh, and, and then I've already practiced my Spanish. So I went ahead and got my nails out of the way. But before we get into talking about all of that, okay, one thing that I wanted to talk about, you know, if I admit they check in, is this idea of perfection, okay, and how, you know, I think that we just kind of need to get rid of that idea of perfection when people ask me girl how have you done it how have you remained consistent and i say right because consistency over perfection consistency over perfection because you're making progress progress over perfection you know oftentimes you know i think we end up kind of falling off the wagon at least it has been in my experience you kind of fall off the wagon in the past okay because we have this idea that the journey has to be perfect um, in order for it to count or be successful. Let me explain what I mean, okay? Just because you have like what may be um, my, not necessarily, I'm going to say a bad meal, you know, something that may be off plan, okay? You just kind of throw the whole day away. Or maybe you have a weekend that may not be your ideal. You just kind of throw the whole, you know, journey away. At least that's how I've been in the past. And so for this time around, okay, which we are four years in, okay, it's like I kind of have this idea of I'm showing up for myself every single day, every single day when I have made it a lifestyle. And I realized that, guess what, one bad meal or one bag of chips or one whatever that may be off plan girl it's okay because once again i have adopted this idea that this is a lifestyle okay it's no end date okay this morning even now when i woke up this morning i'm going to be honest with you i had this idea that okay you know i'm going to get this long run in because you know i don't have work today i have the time when i hopped on that treadmill girl my body was just like mm -mm, no ma'am we had other plans okay so I did three and a half miles, which is much less than what I anticipated. But guess what? I still showed up. I still moved my body. And that's something to be, you know, um, you know, congratulated. Every win is a win. So when you kind of take out this idea of the black and white, it has to be all or nothing. This idea of perfection. And who determines perfection anyway? consistency over anything now some of the things that i have remained consistent with you see me doing it every single day you know i'm going to be drinking my water 
you know, I'm going to move my body. You know, I'm going to fast. We're going to talk about that sleep, okay? Because you know your best friend, we're going to get that sleep in, okay? We talk about our gratitude and being mindful and just like all of those things and feed my body nutritional foods. But I will say, you know, life sometimes can be lightened, okay? And I do realize that, you know, we talk about mental health and, you know, your mood and your energy can definitely play a part in, you know, how you feel like your workout, okay? How much water you drink, you know, your sleep and all of those things. But the most important thing is to just make yourself a priority and show up every single day. Now your best, it may be, it may be different every single day. Girl, listen, once again, <clears throat> some days my best is running them 15 miles, okay? Or the other last month when I ran that marathon, but this morning my best was running that three and a half miles and then jumping on that elliptical. I know I gave it my all. And at the end of the day, I realized, guess what? You showed up for yourself and that's all that matters. So if I could just encourage you today, show up whichever way you see fit. If you didn't reach your a gallon today guess what it's okay you got them 50 ounces in if you didn't reach your um uh, you know 20k step goal but you hit 15,000 steps guess what you did a good job if you decided to eat one bag of chips today but then tomorrow okay you jump right back in and you stick to the plan guess what we are all out here doing the best we can so always remember that that once again consistency over perfection because one little slip up one meal you do something as far as your workout that may not be your personal best as far as your pr no i didn't run a marathon but that is okay girl you still showing up for yourself all right somebody needs to hear that today consistency over perfection that's how i've done it Take that idea of perfection out of your mind because once again, who determines what perfection is? Girl, it's all about what we think, okay? Okay? Okay. Now, girl, what else is on the agenda? So, I got to tell you this, y'all. I am, I told you, one proud mama, but not really. I'm out of auntie. I don't know what I am, okay? So, this is what's going on. So, one of my mentees, okay, I have been knowing her for at least over 15 years now. I'm talking about I followed her from a little girl. Now, she's grown now, girl. She's a grown woman, like 22, 23 years old. And I'm, you know, really close friends with her mom as well. So one day, many years ago, we're on the phone and she's like, hey, Dr. E. And, you know, we're talking about what her future plans will be. But when I tell you, y'all, she is brilliant. Okay. When I tell you, she is absolutely, girl, one of the sm very, very smart, can be anything in life she ever would, you know, imagine being. So we're having this conversation. I'm just like, hey, you know, and I'm asking her about her future plans because we're coming up kind of close to graduation. And she mentioned, you know, what she may want to pursue. But in that moment, you already know where your best friend was just like, well, have you ever thought about dentistry? And y'all, the rest is history. So she, when I tell you, took that and ran with it. This baby, I'm saying baby, but once again, okay, she is a grown woman. Now, I've just watched her blossom. She has gone to school, okay, undergraduate, went on this program. Y'all had a 4.0 GPA. Of course, she got accepted into my alma mater, okay, as far as my dental school goes. Y'all, she is excelling in that. And so today, I am one proud mentor because today is actually her white coat ceremony. I know. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, the time has flown by. Okay, definitely. But I, y'all, listen, they talk about how they're forever grateful for me. But when I tell you, y'all, I just kind of pay it for it. I reach back and want to help the next person. So back when I was in school, okay, which girl, listen. I graduated 17 years ago, girl. My white coat ceremony was over 20 years ago. But I told her, you know, things have changed because back when I was in school, we actually received our white coat your first year. So now she has just started her third year and today is her white coat ceremony. So I know I'm looking all like cute and comfortable now, but I figured since I was just kind of moving around the house, you know, um, I'll be able to get dressed here in, in a little while when it's time to go. So, um, yeah, once again, proud is an understatement. I'm telling her, girl, I wish this whole, uh, these couple of years go ahead and go by fast so I can get somewhere and sit down and then you can just kind of take over some of my, you know, duties. Okay. My professional duties. So no, anyway, um, I'm going to go do that, of course. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to record it, if I should record. So just in case I don't, you know that's where I am. As far as my food goes, once again, not really hungry right now, but that's to be determined. So anyway, girl, go ahead, check in. Of course, I pray you are having the most amazing day so far. 
I'm about to continue just moving around, getting things together. Of course, get dressed, get cute, okay? Oh, yeah, and just to know as well on tomorrow's vlog, her mom, which is just such an amazing mom, but she is also having her like a little get-together party, you know, um, as a congratulations for her white coat. That'll be on tomorrow's vlog. So I'm about to go ahead, um, just like I said, finish moving around, get myself together. If I don't see you, okay, at the white coat ceremony, just know that that's where I am. And then if not, I guess I'll just be back to show you how I break my fast. So go ahead and check in, girl. I hope you're having the most amazing day. have had the most amazing day from doing the things I enjoy to eating the foods I love. Go ahead in the comments, tell me one thing that has made your day amazing. Y'all already know what to do. Show your girl some love. Click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Girl, now you know, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!